Hello everyone, this is David again with just a quick video on a tool that we recently released a few days ago. If you are a Legacy TE user and you are a tournament organizer or you happen to be the person in charge of making your scenes build, we have a little tool for you that helps you customize the stage selection screen, which is available on the TE page of our website. This is based on SOJ's custom stageless creator. Some of you may know of it. And basically it helps you arrange the tourney stages you like on the front page. So uh, without further ado, locate the download button and you will arrive at the download page. And from here, it will take you to Modulus where you can download the current version. In this case, it's 1.0. And you'll save it to a location. And then, of course, you'll want to extract the contents. All right, and once you've done that, you should have all the contents right here. Uh, so how this works is you'll see this SSS customizer lite.html. Just open that up and you'll get this user interface right here. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a default page one here, but you can obviously customize it to whatever you would like. So let's say, for example, you wanted a counterpick stage to be, oh, let's say Bowser's Castle, for example. So you can have Bowser's Castle there. Let's say you still wanted WarioWare. You can increase the number of stages to 10 and then change the very last one on the top to be Wario Land. And then make this Dream Land. You can really do lots of things with this although the current limitation is nine but hey maybe there'll be a new version out later on who knows and so you can also customize page two if you'd like but really this is about page one for tournament setups so once you've done that and you're satisfied with the stages that you've selected you can click generate codes and at this point what you want to do is take a note of this code and select it copy it and okay, and really briefly, I have my SD card open here. Uh, you're going to want to open the TXT version of the code set that you have. I'm just going to move it over here. And then I'm going to open it. I'm going to find that same code. So I just type in custom stage. And here is the code. This is the custom stage select screen that's part of TE. So I'm just going to highlight this code and delete it. And then I'm going to, of course, paste the code that I just copied, which is this one, which is going to replace it. And then save the TXT and close it. All you got to do next is drag and drop the TXT over the gctconvert.exe. And if you're on a Mac-based operating system, there are other ways to generate a GCT code. And just ask in the legacy Discord about how to do that. So anyway, now you have this GCT file. So you'll want to navigate you actually want to replace it. So, and by the way, if you're doing this on your netplay build, you're going to want to make a backup of your netplay build because this will desync if you try to netplay with someone that doesn't have the same stage selection screen. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is replace the GCT file. Yes. Yes, I want to replace it. So now you have a new code set file. And then next you need to navigate to menu two under the PF folder and, and the cell map that's included in the download, you're going to want to replace that also. Yes, I want to replace it. So now when you open up Legacy TE Dolphin, so here it is. All you got to do is run TE. Let's make this full screen. And from here, all you got to do is view the character selection screen. And voila, here is your new tournament set list with all the stages that we picked in the very beginning. And here are all the other ones on page two. And you can strike just as normal, use all the same commands, and you will just have a limited number of stages, whichever ones you believe are right for your tournament. Again, big shout out to SOJ for making the tool upon which this is based. And of course, Johan1044 for managing to get the cell map working. Really big shout out to him. If you're ever having difficulty with this tool, just head over to the Legacy Discord and we will help you out. Thanks for watching, guys.